I think if, if anyone would know about aliens on Earth, it would probably be me. In the vast expanse of our universe, where silence and mysteries intertwine, some objects baffle even the brightest minds. Oomuamua, the interstellar enigma that once raced through our solar system, had left as swiftly as it appeared. But just when we thought it was a closed chapter, a twist no one saw coming. Join us as Elon Musk unveils the secrets of Oomuamua's unexpected return and the mysterious company it's brought with it. Prepare for a journey where space tells tales, secrets unravel, and the cosmos leaves us awestruck once more. Press the like and subscribe button to stay tuned for the latest updates. The immense force within these asteroids is akin to the impact of 10,000 Hiroshima explosions. Think of it as more than just a space rock, but rather an expanse loaded with raw power. Our understanding of the universe deepened with the detection of the first interstellar body within our solar system. This discovery hints at the possibility that alien planets might be more familiar than previously thought. The PanStars telescope in Hawaii spotted an atypical blur on October 19, 2017, signaling the presence of a possibly hazardous asteroid. Its course was unparalleled, introducing us to a uniquely shaped celestial traveler, the first of its kind, moving between stars. This celestial traveler was christened Oumuamua. Its distinct cigar-like form made it stand out from the typical round objects in our vicinity. Zooming past the sun at approximately 320,000 km per hour, its unusual shape raised eyebrows and stirred speculation. Might it be a product of extraterrestrial technology? Elon Musk believes that Oumuamua might hold subtle indications about life beyond our solar system. So what do we truly know about this enigmatic wanderer? Could it be remnants of a fragmented planet, or was it fashioned and hurled in our direction by unknown cosmic influences? Moreover, why is it making a return? Let's explore further. Nothing in our solar system resembles this entity. There's a popular notion. Discover the galaxy before it discovers you. In 2017, researchers in Hawaii pinpointed a peculiar reddish, cigar-like body named Oumuamua, considering it a herald from the stars. Spotted in October, this space representative sped across our solar system at 40,000 km per hour. The Hawaiian term Oumuamua translates to scout or envoy, and its presence was short-lived. It evoked memories of Arthur C. Clarke's Rendezvous with Rama, where astronauts come upon an alien ship navigating an uninhabited solar system. It might also remind some of the monoliths from 2001, a space odyssey, which was central to human advancement. The find prompted an international scramble for telescopic observations, with even SETI Institute joining in, initiating a search for potential alien broadcasts. Umamua's characteristics might align with familiar asteroids that potentially threaten Earth, but its appearance is distinct. Its most intriguing feature is its elongation, potentially spanning 800 by 80 yards, making it notably more elongated than it is broad. Historically, experts speculated that interstellar debris, in the form of ice fragments from distant forming planets, might enter our solar system behaving like comets near the Sun. However, none had been detected until now. The lack of typical comet behavior in Oumuamua can be attributed to its dim and dark nature, visible primarily through high-end instruments like pan stars. Its periodic brightening every 7.3 hours suggests rotating on its shorter side. This behavior implies it's made of more resilient material than the typical cometary content. Its rich, reddish hue is reminiscent of certain distant moons, where space radiation has altered ices and organic molecules, as suggested by spectral studies. Dr. Meech believes that the unique color of Oumuamua might be influenced by iron. The genesis and structure of Oumuamua are enigmatic. Some theories suggest that it was either launched from its native star by a supernova explosion or resulted from two colliding entities. There was significant anticipation in the scientific community, including from Elon Musk, when it seemed that Oumuamua's path could be traced back to Vega, a star in Lyra known for its surrounding debris. Traveling from Vega to us would take roughly 600,000 years. However, due to trajectory alterations, the prospect of Vega being its origin has lessened. Oumuamua's velocity concerning the Sun matches the speeds of other nearby stars, hinting at its introduction to a new star system. Alternatively, Oumuamua might have been meandering through the galaxy for countless years. Eh. Observing the vast cosmos, one might think of stars as isolated entities, Yet, Oumuamua's voyage paints a picture of a more interconnected galaxy, 
Elements found in everyday objects like wedding rings or even our blood can be traced back to ancient cosmic phenomena. There's even speculation that meteorites from Mars could have introduced life to Earth. Though Oumuamua's hundreds of thousands of years in transit seem extensive, it's just a brief moment in the universe's expansive timeline. Given the age of the Milky Way, Oumuamua could have crossed paths with 20,000 star systems. This journey, while only a tiny fraction of the galaxy's total stars, is significant. As Oumuamua travels, its trail of cosmic debris suggests a universe more intertwined than vast. Despite being currently out of sight, Oumuamua continues its cosmic journey. Astronomers, including Musk, anticipate reaching the Kuiper Belt by 2024 and surpassing it by 2025. It's projected to reach the Voyager's furthest point by 2038. The point at which Oumuamua exits our solar system largely depends on one's definition of its boundaries. With direct observations now impossible, researchers are gleaning insights from the brief data window they gathered. Oumuamua, initially believed to be an asteroid given its size, displayed peculiar movement patterns, indicating forces other than gravity at play. While Dr. Meech's team explored various potential reasons for this unique acceleration, many were ruled out, leaving the phenomenon still a puzzle. Researchers concluded that Oumuamua's unusual movement was likely due to outgassing, a phenomenon typical in comets. When comets get closer to the sun, their surface ices transform from solid to gas, propelling the comet and altering its path. Oumuamua's motion was consistent with this outgassing effect. However, there was no visible dust emission, even though strong outgassing usually releases more dust. Meech theorized that, while there might not have been small particles, larger dust could have affected its velocity. This observation kept the comet theory viable, but larger dust was difficult to detect in the observed wavelengths. Surprisingly, no gas emission was seen, even though a significant gas release would be needed to influence Oumuamua's speed as observed. The team looked for CN gas, commonly associated with water release in our solar system's comets, but found none. Given Oumuamua's likely extraterrestrial origin, its unique composition might be expected. Further intrigue arose from the Spitzer Space Telescope's infrared observations of Oumuamua, which detected nothing. This suggested that Oumuamua might be shinier than thought. Its shape, size and makeup can be inferred by gauging its reflectiveness. However, the data hinted at a reflectivity of around 10%, distinct from the usual 4% seen in comets. To align with this, one must assume that Oumuamua has different thermal characteristics than regular comets, a notion that Meech found peculiar. Moreover, the infrared studies did not detect any carbon monoxide or dioxide outgassing from Oumuamua, even though such emissions were within the observational range of the Spitzer telescope. It's difficult to derive definitive conclusions from unobserved aspects, but Oumuamua doesn't seem to match the attributes of a standard comet. Given that Oumuamua is from another solar system, its unique features might be standard for exosolar objects. Corin Baylor-Jones from the Max Planck Institute for Astronomy traced Oumuamua's journey before it entered our solar system, comparing it to the trajectories of 7 million stars observed by the Gaia spacecraft. He identified four potential originating stars, but their high velocities made these connections improbable. There's speculation that if Oumuamua hailed from a binary star system, the rapid velocities would be more logical. However, none of the four candidate stars were binary. We hope future Gaia datasets will provide clearer insights into Oumuamua's roots. Despite being our only known visitor from another star system, Oumuamua has fascinated global scientists. Some bold theories even label it as an extraterrestrial artifact. An unpublished article from a Harvard researcher and the chief of the Pentagon's UFO unit presents an idea. Perhaps an alien mothership is dispatching minuscule dandelion seed probes into our solar system. This theory, co-presented by a Pentagon representative and Harvard's Avi Loeb, envisions an extraterrestrial craft sending these tiny probes similar to how we explore distant planets. Revealed by Sean M. Kirkpatrick of the Pentagon's ADRO and Loeb, the study, although created with the Department of Defense's input, has yet to be an official Pentagon release. Loeb even once suggested that Oumuamua could be an interstellar ship. Intriguingly, before Oumuamua's approach, a minor interstellar meteor hit Earth. While not directly linked to Oumuamua, this meteor intrigued Loeb. He theorized that a man-made interstellar object might emit numerous probes when near Earth, echoing some NASA projects. These dandelion seeds could be propelled by solar gravitational forces or another method. In their draft, 
Loeb and Kirkpatrick delve into unidentified anomalous phenomena, UAPs, an official term for UFOs, considering existing physics. Researchers believe that probes, described as dandelion seeds, might be so tiny that they wouldn't reflect enough sunlight for telescopes to detect them, allowing them to come to Earth unnoticed. These technological seeds could adjust their speed upon entering the Earth's atmosphere to avoid disintegration and proceed with their designated tasks upon landing. This is especially likely if they have a design resembling a parachute regarding surface-to-mass ratio. Aliens might be particularly interested in studying rocky planets with atmospheres in our system. Venus, Earth and Mars would be attractive candidates from an extraterrestrial perspective, with Earth standing out due to its liquid water. The primary vessel dispatching these probes wouldn't necessarily be inhabited by the alien civilization that created the probes, and it needs to be clarified if communication between them is possible. Before Earth evolved, planets supporting intelligent life could have sent such probes. Loeb equates this to periodically checking for accumulated mail, regardless of whether the original senders exist. Loeb has faced skepticism from the scientific community after suggesting that Oumuamua could be an extraterrestrial object. Many felt his idea about Oumuamua's purposeful direction towards Earth needed more evidence. A 2021 article in Astronomy and Astrophysics downplayed the idea of vast interstellar journeys instead suggesting Oumuamua was simply an atypical celestial rock entering our system. Another study in 2023 proposed that Oumuamua's movement was likely due to hydrogen emissions. Recent times have seen the Pentagon emphasize investigating unidentified aerial occurrences over US territories. The AARO has launched over 360 investigations into such incidents reported by the military, with balloons accounting for half and the other half still being analyzed. However, Individuals like Elon Musk remain hopeful that telescopic studies might reveal more objects of extraterrestrial origin. Given that we've discovered over 4,500 exoplanets in the past 20 years, there's optimism that in the next decade we'll acquire more information about interstellar objects and further our knowledge of distant solar and star systems. Thank you for joining us. Share your thoughts and keep an eye out for more. Bye for now.